This is Sarah Van Chagan here with Todd Dwyer on the Regeneration Road Trip. You can find coverage on grist.org and regeneration.org. We're here in Annapolis, Maryland at the Philip Merrill Environmental Center, which is the home of the Chesapeake Bay Foundation. And I'm here with Mary Todd Winchester. Um, so tell us, what was the vision behind this building? Well, we needed to um, pull all of our offices um, together into one headquarters. And the vision was to build a facility that shows that you can build green and not give up comfort, not give up beauty, be efficient, um, connect people with what we are trying to do at the Chesapeake Bay Foundation to saving the bay. That each one of us, um, even though we may not do everything that we've done here, if you do one thing, you can make a difference. And we hope that people go away from this after visiting our building with more than just one thing. But that was uh, one of our goals. The other was to build um, an inspiration for our staff. Um, this was going to be our headquarters building. Um, we wanted it to be inspirational for not only the staff, but for anybody who comes, whether you're a decision maker, a teacher, a student, um, the general public who comes in to uh, many of our tours to learn how you, you build green. And this was the first LEED Platinum building, is that right? This was the first LEED Platinum building in the world, um, and that was eight years ago. And uh, so what we're talking about now is about 10-year-old technology. Um, it's still good. The exciting thing is this building really has worked. There were no major mistakes, and some of the issues that we've had to deal with uh, provided us with challenges that anybody would be coming up to and, and how do you solve them? How do you make a wonderful building even better? And uh, this place is really in a gorgeous location right on the Chesapeake Bay and this is exactly the kind of habitat you're trying to save, right? Tell me about the mission of the organization. Chesapeake Bay Foundation's mission is to save the bay. Um, we are here to um, protect it uh, restore it, bring it back to its um, healthy environment that it used to be back in the 40s and the 50s. Um, it has taken a long time to degrade it and it's going to take us a long time to get it better. Sometimes it's a, a big challenge but uh, we see improvements in many areas. We just have to keep working hard just as um, the world does in many of the different issues that we face. We, we have to keep working hard at it. So what are some specific projects you guys have going on? Maybe uh, something tangible that people can see in action. One of the uh, biggest programs that we have is our environmental education, where we actually take people out on the bay, the rivers, the creeks, to, to show them what the problems are, what each of us can do to try and help and alleviate them, um, or take action whether it's talking with decision makers, legislators, or just um, changing the way we uh, live our lives. Um, the whole idea is to get people to understand and appreciate what's going on and then make a, uh, a change for making it better. Uh, several of our other programs we work with, um, two of the major issues that we face um, or actually it's one, sewage, human sewage and animal waste. And we are working very hard. That contributes nutrients, which sounds good, but when you get too much of a good thing, it's bad. And the bay has uh, too many nutrients going into it. And what we are trying to do is reduce that. Um, we have worked um, to get more funding, um, which has been fairly successful in upgrading sewage treatment plants and also building new sewage treatment plants to prevent those nutrients, treating the sewage to a level where it prevents those nutrients from getting into the bay. The other is working with farmers, getting uh, money to help farmers to uh, put in restoration um, activities that will prevent the runoff from the farms from getting into the creeks and the rivers and the bay. Um, we decided several years ago, rather than to challenge the farmers and sue them, take them to court, uh, they really don't have the money to implement a lot of the practices that are necessary. 
And so we chose to become partners and go to the government to get the money that allows them to do the right thing. Um, it has been very, very successful with m millions of dollars going towards that. We run out of that money. There are so many farmers that take advantage of this program, which is terrific, but we need more money in order to continue the program and bring in more farmers. Um, so those are some of, those are many of our successes. Um, the goal is to get 110 million pounds of nutrients out of the water. Um, and we think with what we have implemented and with some of the programs that will be implemented in the next few years, that we're close to getting 90 million wow. pounds of nutrients annually out of the water. So there's successes, but we also have a lot of people who live here, who continue to move here. So the pressures um, continue to, to add up. So even with our wins, we're, we're fighting a, an uphill battle. But the key is never to give up.